hi guys welcome and welcome back to my channel my eyes are primed because we're going to be doing a prom look today i have not been in the mood to record a tutorial in a while i don't know what it is about today i don't know if it's because it's really hot today in new york but i'm in the mood to do some makeup so let's get into it did my brows off camera if you guys want to see a tutorial there's a million tutorials online but if you guys want to see how i do my brows i will link them in the description bar down below that video I prime my eyes with the P. Louise base. Um, this is in the shade 01. If you don't have an eyeshadow base, that's totally fine. You can use a concealer. I recommend either LA Girl or the e.l.f. Camo Concealer, the matte one. It just has to be a really light shade, like this one. Okay, let's buff that in. So the look we're going for today is something that I learned a while ago when I used to take clients. Um, a lot of my clients really liked glitter looks but just couldn't be bothered with the glitter or their eyes are really sensitive to glitter. I don't remember where I found this trick out but I found out how to do this and it's like pretty much getting like shimmers to look like glitter. You're gonna need a loose pigment, not a glitter. You can use a glitter but this is like a glitter alternative. Just a full disclaimer, right? So if you have a Nutris palette, grab that. So we're gonna need that. As for eyeshadow, I'm gonna of course take my two favorite palettes. This one's discontinued, not discontinued, but like it was a limited edition thing. This palette, and this actually is still for sale. This is a new Persuasion palette by Belive Beauty. This is like the palette I use for everything. If y'all watch my tutorials, you guys know that these two are just the two that I use. If you don't have these, these are totally fine. We can use the Juvia's Place Warrior palette or like the Morphe 35-0. Like just neutrals we're gonna go for for today. For this first shade, I'm gonna go in with this palette. I'm gonna take this shade here. This to me is like the per like the exact dupe for the Juvia's Place Warrior palette. It has a brown shade that we just love for our transition. And it reminds me of that. Um, let me zoom in a little bit for you guys so you guys can see up close. Period. So I'm going to tap my outer corner, just tap, 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 because again, we're doing neutral, so we want to take our time. I'm going to tap, 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 tap this from the outer corner all the way straight up to the brow bone. We're just going to tap this shade in. We are going to do a brow bone highlight, but I like to lay my transition first. just in case I decide not to later on. So, this is our prom look, guys. Honestly, I recommend, if you're not seeing this the day of, I recommend practicing this in advance because prom is an important day and it's stressful. So either start this really early, so you have enough time just in case you change your mind, you don't like it. Start it pretty early or practice it ahead of time so you know what you're getting yourself into and you know how long you probably would take with it. So yeah, we're gonna take our time. We're just gonna tap this shade and you guys can see the shade is giving me a cute little transition. Okay. I'm gonna do one eye for you guys to see and kind of speed through the other eye just because time, you know? So this is what our eyes are looking like so far. Um, I am gonna add a transition shade, I mean, a brow highlight. You can skip this if you don't really like it. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go in with like this light shimmer shade. I think the Warrior palette has one just like this too, like a really light shimmer. If you guys aren't used to brow bone highlight, use your fingers and be very gentle because shimmers, shimmers go crazy. Yep. 
you see very little went a long way with that that's just gonna help our eyes pop even more and kind of like define our brow bone alrighty for the next shade I'm gonna go in with I'm gonna mix I'm gonna mix the shades this shade here with this shade here I'm gonna mix those two shades we're gonna put that in pretty much the same motion but just we're gonna stop it right about here if you guys have hooded eyes just take your time because look I have hooded eyes too we're gonna cut our crease and we're gonna get it we're gonna get it right okay Remember to bring it up a little bit towards your brow bone. It's gonna help us out when we're cutting our crease later. Okay. You guys can see it got a little bit darker. A little bit, not too much. Okay, so I'm trying to use minimal shades in this because I know not everybody's gonna have the same palettes or the same colors that I have. But I also kind of want to give the look what it needs, you know? So. I am going to take this shade here, this dark brown here, this is going to be on a JH50 brush, just a firmer, a smaller, more firm brush, okay? This we have to be careful with because it's a really dark shade, so just take your time. How I like to do this, I like to just map it out on my eye. So this is where if you have hooded eyes, if you have different eye shapes where you feel like it's kind of hard for you to cut your crease here's a trick okay take the brush and you're gonna pat it you're gonna shape your eye so you're gonna cut the crease it's gonna be a circle so you want to shape tap this color where you want your cut crease to be now I like to look straight so I know okay when I open when my eyes are open this is where it's gonna be so look straight and make sure that you're you're okay where this is where it's not too high it's not too low you know just take your time right and I'm gonna just keep tapping this color tapping it in don't worry about blending it out yet just worry about shaping your eye so when you see this I'm gonna cut my crease right in between that dark brown like right in the middle we're not gonna go all the way up to our brow bone this time either. We're just gonna tap this in right there. All right. Once you have the color placed, we're gonna clean our brush, just wipe off whatever extra color might be on the brush still. So my brush, no extra product. We're gonna take the clean brush and pat the edges of that dark brown that we just put down. We're just gonna pat the edges and the product will move around and mix with the other shades. It, I think it's kind of hard to see on camera, but it's gonna blend itself out as well as us gonna go back in with the previous shades to make sure you can still see them. So we're just gonna blend, blend, blend. My camera's gonna die, so it might cut off mid-sentence. But we're just gonna keep tapping until we get where we need to be with this. Okay. It doesn't have to be all the way blended out because you still want to see that dark brown. So don't blend it to where it's just like muddy Blend it out where you still can see it, but the edges are diffused enough into the previous shades. So like I said, we're going to go back in with the previous colors and add it on top of this to make sure it's diffused and blend it all the way out. So 
So we're gonna take the last shade before this one and tap the edges. And I'm ready. Okay, so this is a really good start. I feel like this needs to go a little darker. You can stop here if you want to, but I am gonna go a little bit darker. So I'm gonna mix the dark brown with the black and I'm gonna do the same thing that I just did previously. Same thing. This time I'm not gonna go all the way up though. I'm gonna leave it right in the crease right there. When you cut the crease, you want, to, you want it to be defined. So I'm gonna just pop that right there. Don't need a lot because it's, again, it's just to make the cut crease pop. Pat that in, blend that out. Do you see how fast the dark colors can blend out and become a mess if you're not careful? Okay. I know it looks a mess right now. I know. Just give me a second. Once we cut our crease, it's going to come together. So give me a quick second. I'm going to do this eye and then we'll cut our crease. So this is what we're looking like, both eyes done. It's still a little unblended, but that's totally fine because when we cut our crease, you're not gonna see half of what's going on here. To cut my crease, I use a paintbrush. This is a paintbrush I got from Michaels. Um, my Michaels is a little crazy. So it was lucky that I even found this. Um, I'm gonna just show you guys what it looks like. Obviously it's old and dirty, but this is what it looks like. Take a screenshot. Hopefully your Michaels has it. The brush did not come this flat. I used eyelash glue and I flattened it out so it can be this flat. It's a regular paintbrush. I had to make it like this so I can actually cut my crease in peace. Okay, so what I like to do, I have my mirror in my hand. I like to look straight ahead and mark. I like to stamp where I think they line up. Honestly, for me, for me, going a little lower than where I actually want my crease to be is key because then I can always make it bigger, but I can't really make it smaller. You get me? Right, right. Now that I have them stamped on, I'm gonna start with my bad eye. Nope, this eye. This eye is the problem, so I'm gonna do this eye first and off camera to save time, and then I'm gonna go into detail on how I get it to match on this side. All right, so this eye has been cut. Wow. <laughs> For somebody who hasn't cut her crease in since like December when I did a Christmas look, this is good. Okay, so. Gonna cut the other side. We're gonna start. How I do this, I like to stamp it. Let me see if I can turn it this way. Okay, so hopefully this way you guys can see it better. But I like to tap it. That's most of it. And this is why I use such a big brush because smaller brushes, something like this, to be small and round, it takes too long. My hands are way too heavy to to do small brushes so I use larger ones and I literally just stamp it like if you look at the brush the brush is literally already a circle so if I tap I should probably see back of my hand so if I tap 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 excuse the noise my nephew is here and he's just living his best life right okay that's pretty much a cut crease right there, and all you do is tap four or five times. Obviously, it's not perfect, but once you clean up everything, it's done. That is how I cut my creases. It, I even swipe down just so I don't go up by accident or move somewhere else. I just tap and drag down. If you feel like using too much product on your lid, it's fine. We're gonna take care of that later on. So we're just gonna keep tapping, tapping. I'm trying to make sure I can see what I'm doing and also in frame. Ooh, 
we're not gonna cut and do a full crease a full cut crease around we're just gonna do like half or like three-fourths of the way I like to raise my brows and go like this, but remember, guys, relax your face because you're not gonna walk around like this the whole time. Your eyes are you're gonna relax your face and you know, you're gonna look like this. So remember while you're cutting your crease, relax your face. Alrighty, so this is what we're looking like, right? I'm gonna take the brush that I originally used. It's just like a flat brush. This is a Shop Miss A E102 brush. This is like a dollar, I think. I'll link the website down below for you guys. Taking this brush, I'm just gonna tap the edges. Barely. So I'm not trying to go into the brown yet. We're just gonna tap the edges. Take off the excess, wipe it off, and now we're gonna blend the brown into the actual base. This helps with blending so much, but you see how the concealer is going over there? Once you see that, wipe off the brush again. Do the same thing, continue to push the brown into the concealer. This helps with blending the edges out so much, especially if you're not really good at blending. It does it for you, literally. You just take the product and move it over. I'm gonna take a clean eyeshadow brush and tap the product off. We're gonna make sure there's no creasing on the lid. Not that it actually matters, but we're gonna make sure there's no creasing and take off any extra unneeded concealer or eyeshadow base. Okay. I had to take a quick break because y'all, I was hungry. <laughs> so, now that we have our crease all the way cut, we're gonna go in with the shimmer shade. The shimmer shade is gonna act as like a setting powder, I guess, to my eyeshadow base and then we're gonna put the shimmer on top okay so I'm just gonna take the same brush you can take any brush you want but I'm gonna take the same brush oops and I'm gonna literally just tap it Try your best to keep it within the crease. Try to use a shimmer shade that's closest to the shimmer that you're gonna use. It doesn't have to be. All right, so now that our shimmer shade is on, honestly, you can leave it like this and go like this. This one isn't as shimmery. Obviously, there's eyeshadows that are more shimmery than this one, but this is, this is a vibe, you know? To make it easier, I'm gonna blend out this first. So I'm just gonna go in with this shade here <laughs> and tap the edges of this. I think this summer I'm gonna do more looks like this because I don't know. I don't, I, these are really a lot and it's not really my style anymore. Before I would do this and like go to work or do this and like go out with my friends, but I don't really, I don't do this to go out anymore. Nothing's wrong with it, it's just not my everyday type of thing. I don't wanna sit down and get ready to go out. <laughs> I like to just, my little quick everyday thing. So yeah, maybe I'll do this more this summer. And you guys see that I'm tapping the, the color on the edge. 
because if you have smaller eyes, use a smaller brush. Oh my gosh, I hope you guys knew that already. <laughs> I hope so. Right, so boom, boom, boom. Right? So now that we added that color, you see, honestly, this is a look all in itself. So you really can just pop on some mascara, some liner, some lashes if you want. Do your face and you're done. So, you know, this is a look in itself. But like I said, I'm doing more of a glitter, no glitter look. So let's get into that, right? I'm going to go in with my J. LaRue Cosmetics White Gold. So now we're going to go into lash glue. I'm going to apply exactly where I cut the crease. Okay, we're going to stop it right before it gets to this part of our eye where we blend it inwards. I'm going to let it dry a little bit. You guys obviously can see kind of where we're at on this eye, but let's just let this dry. Try not to open your eyes all the way. I'm like literally looking in a mirror down here. If you're working with a hand mirror, that's fine too. Just keep the hand mirror down here so you don't get your eyes stuck together. Take the brush, get the pigment. I'll dip it in the pigment. And we're gonna take it and we're gonna apply it right where we put the lash glue. And you guys can see it's giving like metallic eyeshadow. From afar, it almost looks like glitter. Am I right? Am I delusional? I think I think it does. So now that that's on, we're gonna go back in with one of our transition shades. I'm gonna go in with the second shade that we used again. Okay, and I'm gonna apply that to the edge of the pigment. It is a little tedious, don't get me wrong. It was very, I mean, it really wasn't that tedious. It's just, I try to be really detailed so it might seem more tedious than it actually is. But compared to glitter, and especially if you have sensitive eyes to glitter, this is a really lighter option. And if you guys are concerned on whether it's gonna move around or not, let's test it. So this is what my finger's looking like. Clean, rub my eye clean it doesn't move it does not move glitter can fall on your face da, 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 da. don't get me wrong pigment is a little bit messy too but I in my opinion I prefer it way over glitter so I'm gonna do my liner and I am gonna do an eyeliner tutorial right now actually so I know somebody commented and asked for that I got you girl so we're gonna do it right now um, pop on some lashes I'm not gonna do my complexion in this video because this video is so detailed and it's probably so long already that I don't think it kind of makes sense. If you want to see my complexion, I have it linked in the description bar down below, okay? I'm sorry to have to send you guys a different video, but I have so many videos of, of doing it already. I don't think you guys want to watch a 40 minute video on prom makeup. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm going to be right back and I'll show you guys the finished look. Okay, guys, this is the finished look. I did this on my TikTok live. So if you're here from TikTok, shout out to you. Um, yeah, this is it. I have a full foundation routine already linked in the description bar down below. If you want to check that out, you can. I hope this was able to help out some of my prom girls who just can't get an appointment because we know how hard it is to book an appointment now. I'm sorry, guys, I'm sweating. But yeah, hope to see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.